We are trialing out Purcell Gems in the Cassatavi Hot Points WM63 Aquarius 1100, washing a brand new bathrobe that I just purchased. So, keep yourselves tuned in, watch in HD because you are watching Florence Ballad A3060, the channel made in honour of the original Supreme Florence Ballad, the Shirelles and Hoover's first 1100 RPM automatic, the A3060 Electronic 1100. Hi guys, welcome back to another video, uh, second of the Cassata we're going to do. So we've got some personal gem detergent that we recently run through the Hoover A3060. This is not a review video, just a video that I normally do as one of my videos of showing you uh, detergent performing in a machine. My new format for, for when I do detergent reviews is going to be quickly just like a 10 minute video, a little bit of wash action here and there of the machine and the rinse performance. Not like the last long one we did. So these are personal gems, the new formula of personal power gems, previously known, and of course the personal and comfort combination that Hotpoint always recommended up until 2004, when they changed to the Aerial for the WF, WT and WD models. So this bathrobe was, you're not gonna believe where I brought it from. I brought this from the house of Fraser, <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't spend full money on it. I got it for £13, it's in clearance, so it's very lovely roby material. It just smells of the store very badly. So I'm gonna freshen it up with some personal gems. Um, these can be done on 60, these ones, uh, but that's the highest I'll ever do for a bathroom. I'll never do it on 95 no matter what. So throw the line scale tablet in. I drop it on the I always drop it on the drum rim. And with that, we're good to go. Princess also likes the sound of this. It's the biggest mistake I always make when doing these videos. I keep forgetting you have to add these to the drum. I'm so used to putting it in the... Alright. What we're going to do, as you know of me, I pour... We're going to do about three quarters full. But I don't put the, this cap in because I don't like the clattering sound it makes in the machine. So I just empty it on top of the load. Still got a very nice smell. Conditioner though, as usual, goes in the drawer. So I'll do full cap of Comfort Pure. Naughty. This one we're using program D, 60 degree Celsius, colour fast cotton. So we're going to turn the dial. Okay. And we use super rinse. Uh, we won't use time saver. And without further ado, we can go. Timer just aligned itself. Machine's filling. Got a little torch that might. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just use my phone's flashlight. You might be able to see the water coming in. It takes a bit of time to fill on hot. Might get some sud slots with this, some on balance loads. Having just a small, uh, one item in there means that obviously the gems might dissolve a bit better. 
and not get, not get thrown up all over the door glass. King's topping up. I love doing videos in this machine. Rest of the lime scale tablet there dissolving. That's good. Lots of water there to throw the detergent around. Still topping up. That's quite a heavy bar throw, that is. We'll see the machine will how she'll act on the spins. It smells lovely though, dude. Machine's heating to 60 degrees Celsius now. That water's coming at about, that has about 40 odd. That shouldn't take long at all. I might have explained that I changed the heater on this, yeah, we haven't done a boil wash out for that. Yeah, that got to 60 quick. Now she's going to go on the heat retaining stage. Look how quickly the machine gets onto that. <coughs> uh, we're working up. We're really working up suds here. retaining stage. I can't tell what that lamp is. Oh, it's an LED bulb. Just going to record this, the, the machine doing the Aquarius wash system tumbles. Well, Aquarius wash system plus. <clears throat> so if you know what that is, it's two tumbles in the same direction, both ways. Uh, the later models did, the 2000 and later models did four tumbles in each direction. So the machine doesn't click. It is four. Four tumbles in each direction. get longer tumbles on this section as well. That's with time save and disable.
personal gym and stay sudsy at high temperature. And there's the third tumble. So there's four tumbles in each direction. Same way. On the first intermediate spin, let's see what happens. There were so many, there were subs. Wow.
<laughs> wow. I've never seen the machine do that in all my life. Second intermediate spin, let's see what happens. Jesus on the first rinse. <coughs> that was insane. I've never seen the machine do this, but I, d I don't know if this machine would have a soft lock on it because machines done way worse soft locks than that and never has cut out. That's all the air to come. some sort of cut out. Third intermediate spin. Let's see what happens. If it does it again, if she doesn't make it up to full speed on this one, I'm going to put the machine on two extra rinses. Okay, so the first time I've ever had anything react this badly to personal gems, but do you know what? I think this proves my point about the insertion. I didn't even put a full cut out to half a cat in there, but I know I said three quarters, but it was actually, it was actually half. not going to spin. Yeah. Count that out. That is not going to spin that. Oh my gosh, you rebalanced. Oh, we have two more rinses. She 
tried. It's the third rinse. <clears throat> Let's see how long she tackles that. Well, she tried. So this, these must have a cut out on them now. I didn't even realise that. It's just it's never cut in. Like, we've had some really, really bad salt off. <laughs> the deeper level might help, but this is bad. Especially if Hotpoint recommended her salt, that's really bad. Right. Third rinse for the higher level. machine had actually ramped up to 700 then, suds would start coming out of the drawer. Interesting to see the 9530 W handle this, or the A3060. Probably for them, they get bubbled up, that's going to be it. Yeah, okay, that's not going to happen. That would not spin, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a no-go. rinse because that ain't gonna spin that. God, imagine the 9530 with this with the knackered shots. Oh my god, that would be tearing the kitchen apart. I'm gonna wind that around to two rinses before. See how that balance sensor cut in. Not for long. Really, Cassandra.
think the machine might just do fine with them. I don't think we're going to get the 700 RPM spin. <coughs> Trying to redistribute, I can tell the load. This is a bit of conditioner bubbles, but wow.
Yeah, yeah that was actually a real good spin. To be honest. <clears throat> The thing with bath ropes, they're sort of like um, blankets, the same as blankets. They just hold the bulk of the water, and then as soon as the machine does the first spin, that's pretty much it all kicks out. I like towels, which will cause an unbalance, and that's it. So, handle it well though. That bathroom won't smell like the House of Fraser now, but it'll smell like personal comfort. It'll smell like a hotel room, to be honest, because that personal gem smells much like a hotel. <coughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, personal gems does the job and it really does clean well and smells well, but it's just way too sunny. It is. I mean, that. Sarah is like the strongest machine in my collection now. You know, handles the unbalanced size really well and plus the salt spots, but that to do that was like crazy. I'll see how the meal handles that next. That'll be kind of out forever that'll be. Same load in the meal, same amount will do that every month. Moment of truth. Yeah, that's come out really dry, that is actually. Uh, quick ring in the spin dryer, and then that would be ready to hang up to dry. I'll be able to ready, ready to wear it tomorrow. So, that was the Cassata by Hot Point uh, using personal non bio gems with bathrobe on. Program D, 60 degrees Celsius, colour fast cotton. I'll do a video of the Miele handling that. Same amount of detergent, the same load, and same wash cycle. Cotton 60, with water plus as we do. And, um, well, well, we'll see how that handles that. The machine handled it well, um, very well actually, to be honest. Better than I expected, but, I mean, that detergent is bad because... I mean, it cleans well, it smells amazing, and it does the job. But it, it, it creates way too much foam. And then that was a half cap that I put in with one item. Alright, or a blanketed rope, but even still, should not have created that amount of foam. I mean, to cause the Cassata to. That was the third more cut out on the motor doing that, stopping the machine from overheating the motor. I mean, that's saying something for that to happen. That's never happened, and, and we've had some really bad subsocks on this machine that, it's hand that she's handled, but I mean, the machine wouldn't even ramp up. But overall, I handled that well. 9530W would, would spin through that, because there's nothing to stop that machine going on the subsocks. Um, but I reckon that that machine probably would come out the drawer if we're not careful. Uh, I don't know what the meter, meter will just cut out on that. I reckon the pump's going to need replacing on that meter though, because of all the line scale and whatnot. I might do that. So I don't know when. Because the meter pumps are expensive, they are. And a new drain hose for her as well. Um, and we'll see if we can get the stand pipe put in the back of the machine where the machines are. And hopefully the meter will chug again. Hopefully, hopefully because I miss her doing that. Um, but you can expect some more videos. I might try and get one more video of the Cassata out. I don't know what I'll wash. Um, maybe something with fairy this time. We've got fairy non bio time. Let's might do. What could we wash? I've got some whites to do. Could maybe do that in there and see how that handles it. Um, yeah. A small load. We'll see how that goes. So, anyway, guys. Um, oh, and 
Update, I have ordered uh, two replacement shock absorbers for the 9530W. They were posted out today, um, so they are due to arrive by the 16th, but I reckon they'll arrive a couple of days early. So we'll get fitting those and then that machine can be entered into service and we'll keep that machine in here for a while. Um, then I'll bring the Hoover A3060 back in. And then we'll see. Try and clean up the 9530W a little bit. I, I mean, like all the lines get on the side. I will still order a replacement motor just in case. Um, I have had a few people saying that motor might sound a bit bad, so I am going to be on the safe side and keep a new one. Aside from that, uh, video number 747, we are doing a special tribute to the Boeing 747. So I'm going to gather all 747 clips that I've got, including flights on it, and it's going to do that. Same, it's going to happen for video number 777. We'll do a Boeing 777 flight on that. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.